Each year, the international charity Open Doors produces its list of the 50 countries where it's most difficult to live as a Christian. These are the five countries where it says persecution of Christians is at its most severe. Sudan is at number five. Its government wants the country to become a fully Islamic state and is trying to force Christians out. Church leaders have been imprisoned and churches demolished. In the southern part of the country, the government fights a war against non-Arab, mostly Christian people and continues to bomb churches, schools and hospitals, Open Doors reports. Pakistan is at number four on the list. Christians here can experience violence and various forms of attack. Blasphemy laws also give Islamists a reason to put them under severe pressure. If a Christian is accused of having insulted Islam in any way, his or her life is in danger. If a Christian is not sentenced in court for blasphemy, Islamists will do their best to kill them when they're released. All Christians from Afghanistan, at number three on the list, have a Muslim background. When it becomes known that they converted to Christianity, they will face opposition from society and may even be killed by their own family. Somalia is at number two. In the region known as the Horn of Africa, a Muslim who decides to become a Christian risks death at the hands of family or local clan leaders. Islamic terrorists al-Shabaab carry out many attacks targeting Christians. For the 15th year in a row, North Korea ranks as number one on the list. According to Open Doors, the regime considers Christians to be enemies of the state. Tens of thousands of Christians face death in labour camps, and just owning a Bible can put whole families in danger. Meanwhile, underground churches continue to grow in secret.